welcome back to my channel this is Laura today I'm going to share a recipe with you that is very nice and cool for this time of the year now that we are getting to the end of summer I am going to be making some mango bars now the recipe is not mine I found this recipe on the taste of home website and I will leave the lady's name down in the description box who the original recipe belonged to I did a couple of little changes nothing too big and they turned out delicious. They are very, very nice. They taste just like mango. I mean, it's just a mango in every bite, and they are delicious. And it is like a shortbread cookie on the base of it. I know you're gonna like them. I'm gonna share that recipe with you today. If you are new here, welcome. If you're enjoying the content, I really hope that you consider hitting that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, so you can be notified every time I upload an episode. And if you're a regular here with me, thank you for spending time with me. I appreciate you. Let's go ahead get started with this recipe. Alrighty, we are going to get this recipe going by chopping our macadamia nuts in the food processor and we're going to use the food processor for the whole recipe. Okay, now to the nuts, we are going to add the flour. I will have the recipe down below, so don't worry about that. We're going to add the flour, the confection sugar, and the salt and we're gonna pulse that okay real easy to put together now we are gonna add the butter I did have it cold and I just chopped it up into little cubes like this and this way the crumble comes together real quick and it won't clump together just break up the little pieces and you're good should be good right there and you know when it's good when you pinch it together and it stays together just like that I do have my oven preheating to 350 degrees now I'm gonna take my 9 by 13 casserole dish and I'm gonna pour this whole thing in here just be careful with the blade okay, spread it out first and then we're going to press it down. You do not have to grease the pan because you do have a lot of butter in this recipe so it will not stick. And then you just press it down. You can use the back side of a measuring cup if you like. Okay, and that is ready. I hope you can see that to the side there. I'm going to pop it in the oven for about 15 or 20 minutes just until it's lightly browned okay so I will be right back and we'll continue with the recipe I just took out the crust layer it's very hot we're gonna let it sit and cool for about 15 minutes you see how nice and golden color it is you want it no more than that just like that you want it to bake just like that and it stayed in there for 25 minutes so we'll be right back the crust is cool we are gonna continue with the rest of the recipe we're gonna take our mango this is canned mango. I'm going to show you here in a minute. I'm going to show you what I used. You can use fresh. I use this mango, the Pampa mango slices and light syrup. I just drained all the syrup. I got these at the Dollar Tree. I know they have them there pretty much all the time, but I know the grocery store has them too, so I don't know the price difference. Okay, we are going to add the, the mango and the marmalade. This is orange marmalade. You can add pineapple. You can add apricot. You know, use the flavors that you like. Okay, so we're going to puree this until very, very fine. Mmm, that already smells so good. So we are going to add our sugar, our flour, and we're going to puree this, and then we're going to be dropping in the egg. Now we're going to pour in the eggs. Okay, we're done. Just going to scrape this off. Smells good already. You can really smell that mango. All right, we're going to pour this on here. And we're just going to level it off. Look at that vibrant color. We're going to take our coconut and we're going to sprinkle it on top. 
push it down just a little bit just so that the coconut sticks just a little bit okay we're gonna pop it into the oven and I will be back at that time look at how delicious that looks already and you can really smell that mango I'll be right back here it is out of the oven. It is extremely, extremely hot. I'm going to show you how you know when it's ready. I'm going to pick it up. It's very hot. When you shake it like this and there's no jiggle, that's when you know it's ready. You can also press it on top and feel. Just be careful because it's very, very hot. Okay, so we're going to let it sit and cool completely before we cut into this. So I will be back later on. But look at that. This smells delicious. How scrumptious that looks. This has been cooling for a while. I did cool it on the counter for about 40 minutes and then I popped it in the refrigerator because I had things to do. But I am back and we are going to start to cut this now. I like to use my bench scraper for this or you can use a knife, it doesn't matter. And there they are, look at that. How delicious that looks. Yummy. Okay, let's give these guys a taste. This is the finished product. You know, even like this, you can still smell the mango. It smells delicious. I hope you give them a try. So let's go ahead and take a bite. I like the corners on anything. I think the corners pieces are the best. Here it is, guys. Let me bring you up close up. Hopefully this camera will focus. Look at that. How delicious. All I can say is very, very, very good. These are so good, very delicious. It's like if you're eating them, like a mango custard with a cookie, with a shortbread cookie. It is delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Guys, these are delicious. I hope you give them a try. I will have the recipe listed down in the description bar below and anything that I used. If I can link it for you, I will. Just check there. If you enjoyed the content, a big thumbs up. Helps my channel out a whole bunch. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comments below. And don't forget, share with family and friends. Alrighty guys, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.